in the short amount of time that you have between getting a script and starting principal photography, you have to know your whole life story, right? I yeah. mean, is it sort of a methodical thing for you now to break it down, and or is it is it's it always a different yeah. approach? It's not that indulgent. I mean, when we talk about it, it sounds so indulgent. It's not really like that, but it's like Antoine and I knew this character. It's a it's a it's a mix of his heart and my heart, right? So it's like you're always working with your director. Obviously, your director and the writer and other people who are emotionally involved in the story, like they they have a reason, the reason they've come to this project, like we always, we do. It's not so much like, okay, well, we do know, for instance, with Billy Hope, like he came from foster care, he went through the system, I had watched a number of documentaries about kids who were boxing, and one of them actually happened to be an orphan. And I, <clears throat> I just stole his entire backstory. He talked about how he had been through, what he had been through in the in the houses he had, the the homes he had gone through, and um, and his emotional connection to it, which was something he was far away from. He wasn't like talking about how it made him feel. He was just like going through the. And, and I, just, I just stole lots from him there. Well, what's amazing about that film is that it really is, like the character is, it manifests itself physically more than verbally or emotionally even. I did wonder if that was a conscious decision that we're gonna play this, almost like a, a meditation on physicality over, like, because there's a lot of <laughs> non-verbal acting in this film. Absolutely, right? yeah. Was that something you tried to do? Absolutely. Yeah. It's all body, boxers are all body. I mean, look, man, I mean, I, I was like, by the end by the end of training, like five months into training, you know, I started like, I'd always warm up, you know, in like a hoodie and get get sweat going, get warm. By the end, like the outfits I was wearing, I was wearing like lime green shorts and no shirt with like fluorescent yellow socks. And like, I was painting my shoes, like, and I was like, what is that? In, in the ring, your offense and your defense is working at the same time as well as your body and your mind. It's a mind game at the highest level. And you know you're confident. When you talk about it, it's like I'm. It, it, I can feel the confidence of who he is come through. Like I didn't give a fuck. Right. And that can be really dangerous in reality. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I think there are other people who give a fuck less <laughs> than you who could definitely fuck you up. <laughs>